Hello, friends. Thank you for joining us of this collaboration between Danielle and Tom Thibodeau, or like I say, between Dad and Danny. My daughter, Danielle, with her goodness, her kindness, her ability to operate technology, is supporting this work and making it possible for her dad to remain active. Our topic today is the power of language. Words matter. I'd like to begin with a little poem. A word is dead when it is said, some say. I say it just begins to live that day. A word is dead when it is said, some say. I say it just begins to live that day. Isn't it amazing? Words are as powerful as love. They stay with us for a lifetime. Some of us have never been back to our high school reunions because of what people might have said to us in our junior year. And when your parents die, you never forget the last words they spoke to you. Sacred, profound, meaningful. With one word, we can lift someone up or tear them down. With one word, we can honor people or humiliate them. The power of our language shapes our lives, shapes our relationships, shakes, shapes our communities, shapes our workplaces, our conversations shape our democracy, the way in which we talk to and with each other, the way in which we exchange words to express meaning and love. Words, 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 Greek, Latin, Anglo-Saxon. I love words because my father taught me to love words. My father loved crossword puzzles and he loved playing Scrabble. My father loved puns and corny jokes. And when I would be with him in the car on long rides and had his words all to myself, he'd look at me and said, you know, son, a pun is a nup and I've had a nup out of you. 20 years ago, my dad had went in for day surgery. He had some skin cancer on his cheek. Don't worry, he said. I'll be just fine. It's just day surgery. He gave me his word. He came out of surgery battered, bruised, and speechless. And we learned a new word, stroke. Words that used to flow out now came out one at a time like drops from a faucet. We were literally fed by my father's words. He was an attorney and he was articulate as he stood before judge and jury in Wisconsin Rapids, Wapaka at one time in front of the Wisconsin State Supreme Court. Words, 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 powerful, profound, and sacred. The words that gave him so much joy now tortured him. They were trapped behind his eyes. But these are the things that we learned. The words that we use most often in our lifetime are the words we have at the end of our lives. We become what we do, but we remember what we say, the way in which we talk to and with each other. And these were the three patterns of words that my dad had at the end of his life. When I was growing up in Wisconsin Rapids, a magical, mystical place in central Wisconsin, my father would give us our bath during Paladin so he could get down to watch Gunsmoke on a Saturday night. That was the number one show on TV. And for those of you who are younger, you can catch it on TV, Family Land. And while he was, and we were in the bathtub on Saturday night, he would teach us all of his favorite songs, all of the amount of music that my brother and I learned when we were naked. And then he would take us out and put us in our jammies and put us to bed. And he'd sit at the end of our bed and he would tell us pet stories Pat, his wonder dog, an Irish setter that he grew up with on the farm in Coleman, Wisconsin. Pat, the wonder dog, who played right field at a big game against Pound. They weren't so surprised to see a dog catch, or were they surprised when they came up to bat? Pat, the wonder dog, who climbed to the roof and spoke reindeer to Santa Sleigh and saved Christmas on a stormy Christmas Eve evening. He would tell us these stories, and then afterwards he'd pull up the covers and kiss us on the forehead and say, I love you. On Saturday nights, Saturday nights after he had a stroke, we brought him to our hometown here in La Crosse, 
or we could care for him. And on Saturdays, my brothers and sisters and I would go to the nursing home and care for him. We give him his bath, sing him his songs, retell those pet stories. And then I'd pull the covers up tight and I'd kiss him on the forehead. And I heard the words that I will carry with me to eternity. I love you. The second pattern of words that my father had were words that he taught us on the golf course. Those words were to be used on the golf course and nowhere else. So here's a strong, independent man walking around a nursing home saying, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. One day I get a call. Now my father had been in intensive care and then they brought him down to the heart unit. And I get a call from the manager who said, Tom, we lost your father, come quick. And I rush over to the hospital, what had happened. He had bound his clothes, unhooked himself from all the machines, snuck down the hall, walked down five flights of stairs, was two blocks away from the hospital where he walked up to a car and got in, looked at the woman who was driving and said, let's get the hell out of here. Thank God she was a nurse and brought him back. And his last pattern of words were probably his favorite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whether we went to a root beer stand or a little cafe or sometimes a little nicer restaurant, my father was always generous and kind and polite with the wait staff. So in the last three months of his life, Anytime somebody helped him with his shoes, oh, thank you, dear. Brought him a plate of food. Thank you so much. Brought in his medication. Thank you. Thank you. What kind of care would you suspect he received the last two months of his life? Very good. Or we become what we do. We remember what we say. Isn't the greatest compliment we can give one another? She's a person of her word. She gives her word and she keeps it. Her word is gold. All of our words are gold. They're valuable. They're treasured. And they last a lifetime. I love you are the words that I hope I say often enough to my children, my wife, our friends. I hope I express that each and every time I work or speak. Words, 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 sacred, profound. They last a lifetime. Thank you, friends, for listening to these brief words. May you be encouraged to give your word and keep it. <laughs>